First of all, so now that we have confirmation that this was indeed what North Korea claimed it was, how are they doing this so quickly? It seems that their capability of launching these intercontinental missiles is, is exponentially faster than we thought. Well, you got to remember that uh, that the entire nation and and the focus has been development of a nuclear weapon, and all their resources is centered around that. And as as a result of that, of course, uh, you're getting this accelerated program. Uh, sanctions, as you know, has not worked. Obviously, uh, any kind of pressure that they've tried to put on North Korea to slow it down or even to stop it has not worked. Uh, so that's that's going to be, I think, the main focus <clears throat> of the G20 meeting as all the leaders, including South Korea's president, lead off to uh, Germany uh, as to what they can do now. Uh, it hasn't uh, really done anything to, to keep North Korea from yeah. accelerating the program to eventually build, build Peter, this uh, ballistic missile. Peter, let's talk mm -hmm. first about the engineering. We've gone from a missile that is riveted to something that's a little more streamlined. I believe we're worrying about stages of three-stage rockets or two-stage rockets. Who's doing the North Korean engineering? Are they doing their own rocketeering, or are they bringing in outsiders to make these missiles better? Well, the analysts who have been observing this, obviously, this, the, the country is enshrouded in secrecy, so the, exactly how they've done this is Fair. not clear. We can only surmise that, you know, they basically started with Scud missiles. I mean, they were testing these, you know, the Scud missiles, notorious for the Iraq-Iran war. Plus, you know, Iraq is using it to bombard Israel. Uh, very uh, rudimentary stuff. Uh, but over time, they've been able to take that technology and learn from it, re reverse engineer uh, technology that they've, uh, you know, perhaps gotten illegally from other countries. Uh, the, the, some of the best, best rocket engineering, uh, they've, you know, the, they've scoured the world to be able to to create this technology, develop it, advance it. Uh, and as I, told, and I, as I said before, that's their singular purpose. And as a result, you have this, uh, this development.